Okay. Um, so by way of a bit of introduction, um, before working on containers, I spent about four years working on the OpenStack infrastructure team. Um, in that role, one of the things I worked on was trying to get some of our stuff into containers, um, but we're talking like four years ago at this time. Um, to be honest, the container ecosystem wasn't really ready. Um, we evaluated some stuff and we realized we had to build so much around the containers that the tests we were doing weren't really going to be reflective of what we were building and testing and deploying. Um, so I wanted to come back and say that you know, four or five years later, um, containers are in a much better space now. And there's this really um, big ecosystem around doing CI, CD. Um, so as a baseline, you know, the idea is that you run everything in containers. So your Jenkins and your GitLab and your Spinnaker, and then all of your testing as well. And they can be lots of different size containers. Um, and then you organize everything super efficiently. So everything has its place. Um, and so in a data center model, you know, you have this typical data center where the utilization is something like 12 to 15% for bare metal, 30% for VMs. And when you can use containers, you can put a bunch of these different services on a single server. So you have better resource utilization. And to show you sort of an example of how this all goes together, um, Kubernetes can totally be used. Um, I happen to work on Apache Mesos and DCOS, so I'm gonna show you a demo with that. Um, but the idea is that you put it on any infrastructure. So you install your cluster, um, something like Apache Mesos or Kubernetes. You can install on top of OpenStack or you know, Amazon or Google or whatever cloud, or you can just install it directly on bare metal. And then you install your orchestration layer on top of that. And then all of your CI, CD services go on top of that, in addition to all the tests that you're running. So we got live demo time. <laughs> this is totally gonna work. <laughs> All right, so um, this is, this is a, like a web UI for Apache Mesos. It's called DCOS. It also does a lot of um, other things, um, like networking and stuff um, between the containers, which was one of the things that I found was a problem about four years ago, but has been worked on by the Kubernetes team and the Apache Mesos team and a lot of organizations out there, Docker. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're first going to launch Jenkins. What I'm gonna show you here is, hopefully in under 10 minutes, deploying a website with tests. So we're gonna start off by installing Jenkins. And you can do a pretty basic proof of concept Jenkins install with a few clicks. So I have a cheat sheet over here. I'm gonna actually pin this to a host name. Um, in production, you would typically just mount a, uh, like a, a volume um, from some sort of shared volume. But since this is a demo, I'm just gonna put it on the, the host and that'll be fine. So that's Jenkins. And then we're also gonna use GitLab. So everything in this demo is fully open source. And the demo itself, um, I, I put up on GitHub so you can play with it later. GitLab. So we're gonna make a couple of changes here. Um, we're gonna set the, the URL. I set up a, a DNS name for this earlier, um, CD. And then where's the next one I'm gonna... Hmm. Gonna pin this to one of the one of the nodes as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and run GitLab. Go back to my services. All right. Of course, these are gonna take way longer than normal because I'm on stage. <laughs> <laughs> um, so these are deploying. So what's what's happening now is Jenkins and GitLab are being deployed into containers. Um, and then that should be up soon. All right, so Jenkins is up and running. Go Jenkins. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and GitLab is still deploying. Um, so the only thing I did before this demo to prep things um, was I set up the, the Mesos cluster um, and then I allowed the Docker agent inside of the Mesos cluster to accept insecure registries because there was no way I was gonna set up SSL certificates on stage. <laughs> um, okay, so what we wanna do, I actually, I actually have to make a change in Jenkins itself because I also need to tell Jenkins um, that it has to run with insecure registries. Um, so where's the configure system?
conference internet. <laughs> All right. So I have to really dig into the configuration here in Jenkins to set this up. All right. <laughs> okay. So Jenkins is all ready to run things without SSL certificates. So if anyone's like logging into this URL right now, I'm in big, big trouble. <laughs> uh, so come on, GitLab, what are you doing? All right. Mm -hmm. All righty. So. I'm just gonna set up this brand new GitLab. I'm gonna run everything as the root user in GitLab because it's a demo, don't do this. <laughs> All right, so GitLab, it's, it's pretty empty right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new project. Um, so I'm gonna call this uh, site test and I'm gonna make this a public project. I'm not gonna put anything in it for now. All right, so we can see that this is empty. So what I'm gonna do is go over to my terminal here and I'm going to clone it. And yes, it's an empty repository, so I'm gonna CD into it. And then I, I have some, some files prepared, so I'm just gonna copy those over. Um, hmm. Oh. All right, so we've got a Docker file, an index.html, which is the site that I'm actually gonna launch, a Jenkins file, and a Marathon file. Marathon is the schedule inside of, that runs on top of Mesos. Um, so I'm just gonna add all this stuff. I'm just gonna get push it back up. All right. So that's sending the repository up to GitLab. And now the repository is not empty. Hooray, okay. Um, so while I'm here, I'm also gonna show you um, that we also have this uh, registry. So this is a, a Docker image registry. It is currently empty, because I just created this thing. So we've got our uh, repository set up. So I'm gonna go back over to Jenkins. I'm gonna create a new item. I'm gonna create a pipeline, and I'm gonna call it site test. How are we doing on time? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, uh, where is this? Um, so, um, we're gonna pull this from an SCM git. Actually, I missed a part here. Uh, I have to look at my notes. <laughs> so the section I want here is the build triggers, right? Um, so I'm gonna pull SEM, I'm gonna do this every minute and then Jenkins is gonna be really grumpy at me. Yes, I wanna do it every minute. So grab the repository URL, which I can grab back over here. I need to add some credentials, so. So this is so I can actually push things back um, and this is called GitLab. Okay, so we're using those credentials. We have a repository, and now we're just going to save that in Jenkins. And since this repository already has a Jenkins file inside of it, um, it's going to automatically find that that has a Jenkins file and start the build. It should start within a minute, um, so we'll see how this goes. Come on, Jenkins. Uh, well, well, that's working, I can actually show you the, the the Jenkins file. Um, so I mentioned everything here is running in containers. So it's a pretty simple Jenkins file. Yeah, it's less than 60 lines. And it's actually just a series of Docker um, commands, essentially. So it grabs the credentials from GitLab and it pushes an image and everything. All right, so we actually have our job running now. That's exciting. <laughs> All right, let's see what it's doing here. I'll make this a little bigger here. 
All right. So what it's doing now is it's going out to the Mesos cluster and just finding a place to run all of these Docker commands that I told it to run. Um, so I didn't have to set up an external cluster. It's using the same one that GitLab and Jenkins is running on. Um, you might not want to do that, um, but the idea is that it actually reaches out using a Jenkins Mesos plugin. Um, there's also a Jenkins Kubernetes plugin, and I think there's also one for Docker Swarm. So again, like it doesn't matter what platform you're using really, um, but I happen to work on this one. So it got stuck here once when I was doing this demo. Yay! All right. So <laughs> it, uh, it's checking out their code repository. Um, and actually, I can go back here and we can see our little stage view here. In a perfect world, this would be like five checkboxes of green really soon. <laughs> All right, so it was able to check out the code repository that I gave it. It's now building the Docker image. And then once it builds the Docker image, it's going to push that up to GitLab um, into the rep repository, the um, registry that I showed was empty. Hmm. So it has to like download the Nginx uh, thing, image that it's trying to run on. see. Running all kinds of stuff. All right, so it's now publishing the image to the registry. And once that's done, I can come back over here. All right, so it created the directory. It doesn't have an image yet. It's uploading it. Almost done. <laughs> All right, so I'll look back here. All right, I've got a Docker image in my registry. That's really good. And then it actually deployed the system. So if I go back to my DCOS UI here, I now see a site test thing here, and this is the website deployed. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't do this to me. <laughs> okay, that's just sad. Wait, why is it linking to GitLab? Uh, I know what I need to do. Hey, there we go. <laughs> okay, so the site is up now. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm out of time, but I just want to show you just if I just say. So I just want to show you that it's going to kick up another another uh, pipeline. But that might, oh yeah, so there it goes. So I just pushed another commit to Git, and it's just going to run through this all again. And then we'll see a new website being deployed. Um, the test that it did, it, it just did a link checker against it. Um, so it just looked at, it ran some Docker um, commands to just run, make sure all the links were working on the website. So yeah, that's your demo. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.